A Temple woman is on the hunt for her dad's car that was reported stolen back in December. This comes after he was allegedly taken to and then dropped off at Baylor Scott and White by a stranger because he was sick. Her father, Renee Ramirez, then died within hours and his car has not been seen since. Six News reporter Sydney Deshawn spoke with his daughter, who is continuing to search for the last piece that she has of her dad. Sydney, this is amazing. Yeah, Chris, it's been over a month since Haven Ramirez went to the Temple Police Department, hoping she would get some answers. On December 19th, Haven claims her dad was at a gas station in Temple. She tried asking the owner for the security footage, but says the owner refused. What she did find out was the owner told her that her dad looked sick and needed to go to the hospital. Haven says her dad was then taken to the hospital by a boy and was dropped off around 8 p.m. Baylor Scott and White called Haven and she drove over. Haven was concerned how he got there. All her dad could say was he was taken there by a boy. She never finished her conversation with him. He later passed away in just a couple of hours because of a bad infection in one of his lungs. Haven today is left with so many questions for the person who might have the car. Why did you just leave him? <clears throat> uh, how come you didn't bring the car back? Even if it was just to Scott and White and leave it in the parking lot, you know? Anybody and everybody who knew my dad knew my dad. My grandmother still lives in the house that her kids grew up in. So anybody who knew my dad knows where my grandma lives. So I just I don't see why you wouldn't take it there, you know, out of all places, either to the hospital or to her. Now the car is a 2006 Pontiac G6. It's a bluish green color with a sunroof. Police told me today that this is an active criminal investigation. Tonight at 6, we will have more details on the investigation from Temple Police. Chris. Sydney Deshawn live in the newsroom for us. More questions than answers at this point. Sydney, thank you so much.